So I'm like, I, I, I don't act like that. So ladies, <laughs> what are y'all doing out here the way these men feel like they can't even speak? What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I don't have friends. I got family. Actually don't have an intro for this one. So let's just jump right into it. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Okay, so my trucking ladies, I need y'all to bring y'all answer to me right here, right now, baby. We need to have a talk. What are y'all doing to these men out here, boo? Because I made a video, you know, towards, you know, guys always saying they don't be seeing us. So I'm like, how y'all don't be seeing us? You know, we out here. So how you don't see us? But why I say that? So many guys was like, we see y'all, we just don't speak. Y'all be acting stupid, nose in the air. You acting bougie and you act like it's a problem when we speak to y'all. The problem when we speak to y'all. Baby, let me tell you something. I had to, you know, let, let, let them know, like, you know, slow your roll, book a cold play. You know, you got too much dip on your chip because I don't act like that. When guys notice me from social media and they speak, I speak back. They want to give me a hug, I give them a hug, you know. They want to take pictures. We have a whole photo shoot in the truck and parking lot. You understand me? So, I'm like, I, I, I don't act like that. So, ladies, <laughs> what are y'all doing out here the way these men feel like they can't even speak? I, I, I tell you, some of these dudes don't even act right, you know. That's that's why some of the females feel the way they do. You know, they get out of the truck, they looking all good, feeling all good, and they don't want to be bothered. They give you the mean mug and all like that. Homeboy comes up to you, be like, hey, hi, how you doing? And you just look at them like, get away from me. But you be that same social media female that's that's giving all positive vibes when you see me holler at me type deal but then when we do see you you give us the get out of my face vibe but ladies i understand why though because some of these dudes don't act right i get you a lot of them be cat calling you a, a lot of them be having that lust in their eyes and all like that and the first thing that comes out of their mouth is that Oh, I want you to team drive with me. That's that's wrong, bruh. Offer a simple convo. I offer a simple, hey, how you doing or whatever, whatever. You know, if y'all in the fuel island with each other, don't just don't just say, hey, you look good in them jeans. Compliment her on being a female truck driver out here. In a, in a male dominated profession. Compliment her on the truck. You know, maybe she might be an owner operator or something like that. Compliment her on that. Don't just go ahead and compliment her on her looks because she already know that she looks good. She knows that. She don't need you to say, oh, you look good in them jeans or you look good in that crop top. She knows she look good in them jeans and good in them crop tops. That's why she's wearing it. She wants the attention. But ladies, also though, you got to understand, you know, sometimes the vibe that you give off will probably be the vibe that you get back. I'm not going to go no further than that. I'll just let my comments handle that from there. Guys, what do you guys think about what she said? I mean, why are you not showing love to these young ladies out here? She's here. She's ready to do a photo shoot with you. Lady, let me tell y'all something. While we're on the subject of bus drivers, I had a truck driver, baby, pull up alongside of me in traffic, and he said, why are you smiling so much? I said, because of life. That's right. Life is good. And he said, well, give me your number so we can talk about life together. I said, no, I don't really date truck drivers. <laughs> All right. He said, why? I said, because y'all truck drivers be on the road trucking and fucking. <laughs> and I know you got some kids in another state. And I know you be telling that lady, your truck done broke down, but you going to see Billy or Sally. <laughs> all right? So shout out to those wives who got to deal with them truck drivers, all right? Let's be clear. <laughs> I want to know why you keep banging on the window for. That's what I want to know. I mean, what you trying to emphasize? 
by banging on the window. I let let me know. Maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm missing something here. But listen, listen, ma'am, ma'am. There has always been a stereotype that been placed against us truck drivers for years, as we have females in every area codes. But it's not just the males, though. It's not just the males. I'm not going to put it all on the male truck drivers because there are female truck drivers out here as well that got dudes in different area codes. Now, if you don't want to date a truck driver, I get it. I understand it. But there's a lot of ladies out there that's trying to date us because of our status. Just because you feel the way you feel doesn't mean that the next lady is going to feel that way. Same thing with the bus driver comment. I really wasn't going to touch on that, but hey, I mean, it is what it is. You have your preferences. You have your standards. You know, ladies, you like what you like. If you don't want to date a truck driver, I get it. You don't want to date a bus driver, I get it. But don't go ahead and put them, don't go ahead and put us down because of our status. We're successful out here. We are making money out here. We're taking care of business out here. But drivers, I mean, do you guys agree with her? Would you guys give her some play? But you want to know something? I just noticed that a lot of women like herself love to come on social media and just say whatever she wants to say. Because I guarantee you, she will date a truck driver. If the right one comes along, if you know what I mean. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. What you mean?